Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. Please pay very close attention. Like, share, and subscribe to and pardon any and all ads or interruptions of any <laughs> of any kind. Ecclesiastes 5. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be few. For a dream cometh through the multitude of business. Ecclesiastes 6. Ecclesiastes 7. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? <clears throat> Now, listen, listen very, very closely. Matthew 6 says, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Now, one other, one other thing. Before I continue Keep in mind, I am talking, I am talking slow, so I won't stutter. And now, let's resume. Matthew, Matthew 22 says, one of the two, one of the two greatest commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself. Philippians 4 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Isaiah, um, Isaiah 54 says, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Lamentations 3 says, the Lord's mercies begin afresh each day. They are new every morning. And also, read James 1 if you have a habit of talking bad when you shouldn't. If, if I don't, if I can't play it in this video, for whatever reason, if you have a habit of talking bad, read read James 1, 2. But if I can, I'll show it to you in this video. But Lamentations 3 says, The Lord's mercies begin afresh each day. 
they are new every morning. John, John 8 says, Satan is a liar and the father of lies. First John chapter 1 says, If we say that we have no sin, or, or, or if we say that we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves and we are lying. If, if, if we say, if we say that we have not sinned, or if we say that we have not sinned, we, we are lying. We are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. First John 4 says, Perfect love casteth out fear. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Mark, Mark 11 says, If you have faith and do not doubt, Ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, and your command will be obeyed if you believe. But when but when you are praying, first forgive anyone who you have anything against, no matter how great, no matter how small. So your heavenly Father will forgive you of your sins too. If you don't forgive those who have sinned against you. Your heavenly Father will not forgive your sins. That is in Matthew chapters 5 through 7. That part about if we refuse to forgive, if if we refuse to forgive others, we will not we will not be forgiven. I repeat, the part that says if if we refuse. To forgive others, we will not we will not be forgiven. That is in Matthew chapters five through seven. I, I forget which, and and that is also in Mark eleven two. But now, listen closely in just one moment to James chapter one. But while I am getting ready for that, I, st I strongly recommend that if you need to, you, you pause this video and do whatever you do whatever you, you need to do. I promise you it shouldn't it shouldn't take me long. I repeat, it shouldn't take me long. Turn on low power mode. Okay, I turned on low power mode. The Epistle from James, Chapter 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. 
than if you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, but when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Now, did you hear that in James chapter 1? The, the Holy Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapters 5 and 7 and Proverbs 10 and James chapter 1 it says to talk too much fosters sin be sensible and turn off the flow let let every man be slow to speak and slow to wrath so listen if you have ever had a habit of cussing and or getting mad fast read every passage that I have mentioned in this video but especially Proverbs 10, Matthew 6, Mark 11, James, James 1, and Ecclesiastes chapters, um, chapters 5 and 7. I was, I was about to say Ecclesiastes chapter 1, but I meant read Ecclesiastes chapters chapters 5 and 7 and only only do this after you read only 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 do this after you read the passages I have mentioned or shown you in this video ask ask the Lord to help you be slow to speak and slow to get angry and or slow to wrath. Ask him to help you not talk more than you have to when you're mad, scared, worried, or ticked off. And listen, if, if, if you are bad to get scared easy, read Isaiah 41 and 54 John 8 and and 1st John chapters 1 and 4 and 
Mark 11 and Ecclesiastes chapters 5 and 7 and then ask the Lord to help you not worry, cuss and or and or talk bad and or too much in any shape, form, circumstance or fashion. Ask him to help you not not to worry or to talk too much. I repeat, ask him to help you not worry, scare, be af ask him to help ask him to help you n not be worried, scared or afraid and or talk too much. And also, read Matthew 6 and and 22 Mark 11 and Romans 10. Ask him for a desire to read your Bible every day as much as possible. I truly do hope this video helps you. If it does, please let me know in the comments below. And keep in mind, I was talking slow so I wouldn't so I wouldn't stutter and also and also please like share and subscribe too and also tell others what I have told you in this video that has helped you personally thank you very much but remember as James 1 says, be slow to speak and slow to wrath. And read read Matthew 6 and, and Mark 11 and ask, ask the Lord for help. Doing what Romans 10 and James 1 say to do. Thank you very much.